Now, your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. And we have beautiful weather here across eastern Oklahoma. This is a live look now at Grand Lake, all part of Dave's Claremore RV Weather Camera Network. And people are certainly enjoying the pool. And then, of course, in the distance out at the lake itself, a lot of boating activities resuming for this afternoon. Currently here in the city of Tulsa, we are sitting at 88 degrees, 42 percent on the relative humidity. Still light winds out of the east, upwards of only eight miles per hour. And our morning low is down into the mid 60s at 66 degrees degrees once again dropping off into the 60s for tomorrow morning. Now in Tahlequah 86 degrees 82 in Pryor and into the upper 80s in Coffeyville. We're tracking tropical storm Elsa here. It made landfall over Cuba. You can see there the center of circulation and also the cloud cover is extending all the way in throughout Florida at this time on dual Doppler radar Viper 4D over the past I would say 30 minutes or so you can see that center of circulation there right over Cuba and of course producing showers and thunder storms over Florida and we find our lead storm chaser Mike Scantlin right now live on the phone in the St. Petersburg area and people are prepping for Elsa. Mike. Yeah Brendan we are in Modera Beach here you can see a lot of people at the beach just going about their business. A lot of boating and parasailing and, and sea doing but uh, tomorrow's gonna be a much different story as Elsa tracks in from the south. It hasn't really made that turn north yet and it's it's had a long 24-hour interaction with some higher terrain in Cuba as well as Jamaica. So that really does a number on the lower uh, levels of a, of a core of a tropical cyclone, especially one as disorganized as it is. But it's got a lot of time over water, and, uh, you know, the track isn't really set in stone yet. It really could go either direction at this point. But, you know, it's got a lot of time over water, and it's headed this way, and, and we're here to cover it. All right, thank you so much. Our lead storm chaser, Mike Scantle, live on the phone from the St. Petersburg area early this evening. We'll check back in with him during the 6 o'clock broadcast. You can see 50 mile per hour wind gusts right now. You can see it moves up towards the north and eventually off towards the northeast over the next couple of days. That D there representing a tropical depression, so lower with the winds, and then racing out towards the northern Atlantic and then off towards the northeast over Canada as well. You can see on the visible satellite picture over the past couple of hours, that cumulus field, fair weather cumulus clouds into the mix with the sunshine this afternoon. Those clouds will melt away overnight tonight. And some of those current lake levels still quite high for Keystone at plus 13 and plus 15 out at Fort Gibson and plus 7 for Ulaga. The heat index will be increasing over the next several days, maxing out on Friday. The feels like temperature at 101. Then our next cold front comes through this next weekend, lowering down those temperatures for the second part of the weekend and early next week. On future track radar and the cloud cover overnight tonight, skies becoming mostly clear. You can see clear skies after about 2 o'clock in the morning across all of eastern Oklahoma. And then increasing clouds once again for tomorrow on your Tuesday. Skies becoming partly cloudy, so that mix of sun and clouds once again. Overnight tonight down to 67 degrees and light winds. Tomorrow a little bit warmer at 91. Southerly winds between 5 and 10. Those temperatures warming up 87 by 1 o'clock, 91 at 4. Your latest 10 day forecast chance of a few showers on Wednesday, especially Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night, and then a better chance for rain showers and thunderstorms this next weekend with the front.